John Holtzman here again. I thought I'd introduce you to another aspect of inspiration. Personally, I love outlining. Outlining serves me 98% of the time. It does everything I need it to do. It helps me think, helps me get my ideas out on paper. It helps me organize my thoughts, be logical. I, I never grow tired of outlining. Um, well, there comes a point where I have to write my paper, but in terms of getting my thoughts together, outlining is just wonderful. However, thought experts tell us that a lot of people have difficulty with these hard-edged, linear, all word-oriented kinds of notes. They just It doesn't inspire them. It doesn't help them to think new thoughts. And so for these people, a brainstorming tool, or what some people call thought webbing, or mind mapping, or what inspiration calls diagramming, can be very helpful. So inspiration uh, has this wonderful diagramming tool. Um, as you'll notice here, it says go to diagram view, control T. Um, I'm going to do that here. I'm going to just hit Control T rather than just clicking over here. And it builds a diagram. Now actually down below there's the mess of all the rest of all my notes on this 20th century book that I've been working on. But I wanted to concentrate on this one subject of inflation and Keynesian economics. You know something? I realize that this is actually two separate subjects. Inflation and Keynesianism are both under the broader term of economics. So I'd like to develop the theme of economics. And in order to do that, and in order to show you what, what um, inspiration is all about, I want to show you this rapid fire tool here. Now rapid fire, I hit F9, and it puts this little lightning bolt. And every time I write a word, and then hit enter, or any time I write a sentence or whatever I want to type, and then hit enter, it will create another one of these little bubbles. <clears throat> so economics. Well, we want to talk also about, we already said, inflation. Hit enter. There it is. Uh, Keynesianism. Keynesianism, and what else might we want to talk about? How about the destruction of gold-based currencies? And we can continue. Oh, let's do something about floating currencies. The euro? I mean, I, we could keep on going like this. I want to quit the rapid fire out of economics. I think I've gone far enough. Actually, as I think about it, look at this. Currency, currency. This is also a currency, the euro is, um, which tells me actually instead of economics solely, this should probably be economics and monetary systems. How about? Um, <coughs> Okay, as soon as I click out of there, it changes the size of this circle, changes its shape. Actually, I could stretch this one out. Whoops. Come on here. There we go. Change its shape a little bit. Um, it strikes me that, again, these three have to do with currencies. So let's give them their own subject. Currency. Z. And let's correlate those items with the currency's subhead. We want to link them. So first of all, I want to bring them out there. Now I can just delink them and pop them, just grab their arrows and move them over here easily enough. I can also create a brand new link from economics and monetary systems to currencies. Again, some people find this kind of thinking is a little easier. It's the, the circles somehow enable their minds to relax 
and to think through and they can come out with new ideas. Well, suppose here under the destruction of gold-based currencies, what do we want to do here? I'm not sure, but suppose I want to talk about the history of it. So let's do the history. Um, and now we're under history. I don't know what else I want to do under destruction of gold-based currencies, but let's do the history. Again, F9 gives me the rapid-fire tool. So we want to talk about the history of the destruction of gold-based currencies using uh, something about the British pound and uh, the U.S. dollar. I'm just, again, I'm just brainstorming here. I don't know where this is all going to go. I don't know if that's the way my book is going to turn out. I'm just trying to get my ideas on paper. I don't want to have to worry about things anymore. I can reorganize this easily enough. The links remain. It's easy to see what I'm doing here. Inflation. Ah, there's a subject I might want to deal with. How about the German hyperinflation? of uh, the, well, 1919 to 1921, I believe, is when that was. Maybe we want to talk about uh, Brazil. I don't remember those dates. Those were in the 80s or 90s. Argentina. Um, <clears throat> well, those are all hyperinflations. Maybe we want to talk about the uh, uh, U.S. dollar, how oh, that's declined over the years. Again, we can just keep on... Uh, brainstorming and we get everything interrelated here. I'm going to highlight these puppies, move them over here so that they're no longer um, in the way of the rest of this diagram. But now if I want to I can easily go back to the outline view to be honest with you I'm not sure how messy this is going to look or where it's going to place us Ah, but there we are, economics and monetary systems, and I have my complete outline all made for me. From my brainstorming to an outline immediately, directly, it's wonderful, great tool.